Hello YouTube and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization, Civ Civ Civil what's this game called? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out later. Uh, we're playing stuff though and things. It's great. Give them a food tile. How are we doing uh, housing cap wise? We're pretty close to our housing caps. Obviously not there. Across the 50k channel points you feel rich? Nice. Teddy just got Apadana. I think I want to settle this city up here. Certainly better than all the desert that we would be getting. Where are we going to place Victor? Yeah, he's going to be necessary for war. I need Krakow to get more districts. Um, I may wind up dumping like an encampment right here on our road. Um, and we would actually culture bomb just a little bit back. Why am I friendly with Germany? Because we have time. Um, we have time before we have to fight him. I'm going to go towards feudalism now. And I do want to start thinking about Victor. Um, I could also desperately use a Pingala. But why? Uh, that ensures him not attacking me while I'm trying to prep for war. So he doesn't like attack us early um, while I'm just trying to fix my economy and, and get our get our sieve going. It was 380. Goodness. Yeah, well, this city's already my religion, so it won't. Pingal's a mainstream first pick. Yeah, definitely on multiplayer he is. Uh, on Deity, not really. At least not for me. But I believe the multiplayer community definitely goes him first. Is it too early for Victor? Feels a bit early. But to war England, they've got like a million cities. Not sure how many troops you need. You have six melee, four horse, three range, two bombards. You really can't commit too heavily, especially because you can eventually com uh, combine those units into cores and armies. Um, so I, I, I would say... I don't know. I would say that uh, you probably want more than that, Chris, if you're asking me. I think we do want a Pingala here. Does that not complicate the grieving the grievance system? Not really. Once I mean, because you're not going to have any you're not going to have any positive diplo favor or people liking you in a warmonger game, anyways. And so you just accept the fact that you're going to be betray promises and piss people off. It's really okay. I don't really have a good spot for Magnus now. Probably shouldn't have uh, promoted Magnus. Maybe could have started a different route. Uh, Erkson, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Have a good amount of money here soon. We don't need the Barb policy card. Wouldn't mind getting some builders. Although, again, we're, we're, we don't have a ton of tiles to improve. So, what can I take instead? Maybe just scripture? Got some good holy sites. Not too bad. Thud Jack, welcome back. Thank you so much for the uh, two months. Welcome back with that prime. Three total months. Thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate it. So, we're not to see Poland and Ping K, man. That's what chat voted for. Uh, Jaris, you need my help about this game? What you need, bud? Be happy to help you. Can you make that excuse for people not liking you in real life too? Sure. I'll allow it. What's that? Pyramids. Holy iron. I have a feeling we have a barb camp down here. These guys can heal up and chill out until then. Guess we'll take the um, we'll take the hills.
for more defense. Hey, thank you. I'll take that. Two builds left. What are era points you've been getting Dark Ages for two eras now and you don't know what to do? Okay, so uh, in Rise and Fall, we added in the era score mechanic, right? Rise and Fall? Yes, yes. Uh, Rise and Fall added in the, the era score mechanic. Um, and there are a lot of different ways to accumulate era scores. When you're in a dark or normal, you get to add a dedication that will that will help you. Following your dedication will, of course, help you accumulate era score. For us, we want to like spread our religion, and every time we do to a new city, we get two era score on top of that. If you want to see beyond that, and you go into the Civilpedia here, you can go into Historic Moments. You have Minor Moments, which are worth one era score a piece, and you have Major Moments, which are worth two or more. Um, so things like building wonders, uh, quality districts, first time suzerains are all sort of reliable um, ways to get quality era score early on. And then you have a giant reference here uh, for things that you can um, familiarize yourself on with accumulating more era score. Um, but basically, like through through playing the game and 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 doing, you know, and doing doing normal things, you should be able to accumulate some. Um, in the ancient era, goody huts are worth era score. Clearing barb camps is worth era score. So there are things like that that you want to just kind of uh, prioritize alongside every game. Side effect TV, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Um, and then and then they allow you to either go into a dark, normal, golden, or hit, or um, uh, what is what's the really good one? Heroic, uh, heroic age. Um, and then all of those will have benefits depending on what what point of the game you're in. And uh, and 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 what you want to pick, obviously. Doctor Funk MD, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. So hopefully that helps you a little bit. Wasn't that my builder originally? I don't think it was actually. Maybe it was. I don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> Chris, I do not know the joy the joys of parenthood, but that's a pretty good parenthood story. <laughs> I am happy to sell iron. We're accumulating six per turn, and we've got a long ways to go uh, before we need our own iron. And I'd rather just accumulate money until then. They build an encampment. That's fine. So our first time suzerains are going away here. I don't think I want to spend any. I, I guess Granada is my next important one, and I definitely want to double up our envoys there if we can. That'll go there. No pyramids for them, unfortunately. Uh, Shifty, I have a spare spice to sell. Thanks. I didn't catch that. You go watch some wire. Nice. I still haven't watched the wire. I need to. Good looking out. Thank you for the heads up. Yeah, we'll do that. Jeffrey Dolderson, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> End the stream and go watch the wire right now. I know. I've heard amazing things about the wire. It's 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 one of those it's one of those I'm embarrassed to tell you, but my commitment to honesty, you know. Probably district there. Holds up to the hype. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Everyone says it's amazing. On par with, but not better than Breaking Bad? Interesting. I never finished Breaking Bad. I think I've told this story on stream. My, uh, I, w I had just started the final season, and my friend spoiled the ending. And if you know me at all, you know how much I hate spoilers. And that just ruined it. So after, like, however many seasons of watching Breaking Bad, I never actually finished it. I 
I what? I hate spoilers. <laughs> Early wire isn't in uh, widescreen? Really, Brizzy? Oh, wow. My ex-friend. Yeah, pretty much, Mephistopheles. Hey, Themis, how you doing? Please tell me he's not my friend anymore. Uh, I don't, I don't think I defriend somebody for that. I also want this encampment. I need some science going as well. But our science is actually kind of on par. Well, it's slow. It's slow. I have not watched Justified, no. Just watch the last scene in Breaking Bad. I don't want to watch any of it. I'm too I'm too bitter. Too bitter. I'm too salty about it. It's another good one. I know. We're an amazing, amazing time for uh, TV entertainment. It's pretty great. That works. Feudalism and machinery this turn. That's pretty good. Air score for feudalism. Remember that peep in democracy. I think I'm going to buy you, no, you have your, you have your thing. Okay. I want choral music to do more work here. Let's go find Niter. So now we have the choice to tech into mercenaries. I'm going to build an encampment already. I'm actually kind of further away from doing double campus. Uh, when you go holy sites first, it delays down the other good districts you need. Um, so unfortunately, I think I'm going to hard tech recorded history and start hedging my way up to reform church. What I want to do, and I, and I think part of the reason why going the bottom half of the tech tree first makes more sense as Poland, is you can get into monarchy and start building the building. Um, it, it'll it'll net you the worse uh, legacy card, but we don't really run the legacy cards all that often. Uh, and it'll give me the faith by. Then we can tech up to mercenaries. Then we can faith by. And then we can tech into theocracy maybe for the discount. Um, but I think that being able to start that building, which is pretty darn expensive, uh, and the building I'm talking about is the uh, Grandmaster's Chapel, um, is 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 worth it. And so we're gonna hard tech recorded history, go up to divine right, start the Grandmaster Chapel tech our winged hussars and then probably get down to theocracy before we buy a lot of them at least that's what i'm thinking thanks long string of numbers see you later man <laughs> watermill water mill here uh tundra cities are always food starved Then we'll get that, and then we'll worry about their districts. I'm going to keep the uh, scout around to deal with barbs. See you, Darsh. See you, buddy. Have a good day. Am I switching any policies? So we are, yes. Yeah, so here's the here's the general we definitely want to get. So we may need to faith by this. Uh, and we can get a, a bunch of air score to in, in doing so. 68 per turn, only 870 at this threshold. So it makes sense. Why not stop the chapel at one turn and fin finish it with theocracy? That's a good idea. 
That's definitely a good idea. Yeah, the plus one envoy policy is good, but not when we don't follow it up with another envoy, in my opinion. So if we wanted to go towards like naval tradition or military training here, um, I think it's a good time to switch. Otherwise, I'd like to go to recorded history, switch into it, and then do do, do a fast switch like that. Um, so I'll hold off on that for the time being. A good thought, though. That I, I did say that I wanted that. I think we're leaving this alone. I still want to earn some general points, even though I don't love the two per turn as, as, as something that's occupying a uh, policy slot. But I'm going to get error score for our building here soon. We're getting more districts. Seems okay. We know there's an archer, we know there are barbs, so we're, we're trying to do this carefully. Harvesting versus building mines and farms or whatever, what do you think the benefit is? Uh, I think almost every almost every time you want to chop resources that are on hills, um, there, are, there are certainly exceptions to all of these rules, but this is just general philosophy. Um, when when things are on a hill, like you saw me chop the, the, um, the stone earlier, why not chop that? Right, It is something that's sitting on a tile that's going to be just as productive, costs you one builder charge, and you get a, and, and, and we save like six turns on that holy site. Obviously, that gets even better if you're running a policy card to chop for something or if Magnus is in the city. Um, but like this woods uh, and this stone, I would almost always chop. The exception is like if you're if we're trying to boost the appeal of a tiles, we, we probably don't want to chop as much with something like Earth Goddess or caring about national parks or um, or, or things like that. Uh, but in general, uh, chopping is good. Wave Rider, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Yikes. Let's see where this guy goes. Oh, I made friends. Plus three era score for our fine commercial hub right here. That's good. We can also almost start another district for them. Let's start with the Sukunitze. Um, and maybe like maybe maybe put our encampment right here. It'll hurt the appeal of both of these tiles, but both of them will stay in Earth Goddess territory. Um, and it will also culture bomb three tiles for us here. Chopping in real life is bad though, plant trees. That's true. That is factually correct. Yes. Yes, we, we, we should all be honestly like everyone. If everyone planted a tree a day, I'd feel a lot better about the environment. But Seven of eight. So we can get our next district. We could make it a commercial hub for plus four or this theater square. I think I like the theater square. Uh, just encouraging our culture to catch up. We'll do that for now. And I will need to get their um, building here soon. We'll certainly want the Warlord's Throne. I guess, I guess I don't have to get that right yet. Fracking's going to be in the next TLC. Super boost your district production. Uh, I said on Friday how they're like drilling in southern Utah. Makes me so sad. All right, now that we have two archers and healthy units, we can go and start to deal with this. In the meantime, this we could let this uh, warrior suicide here once, which would be good. <laughs> well, taking care of your trees, is that's a thing too. I mean, you got to do that. It's okay. Yikes, Imperator. Wait, I'm making encampments. I want the encampments soon. Why, why would we wait? I want to be able to accumulate more, more iron. Um, and I want to, I want to start getting our more general points and things. So winning objective of this game, probably domination, Peon. Oh, am I waiting? Uh, just, just a little bit, just until I finish up some things. We're going to be getting encampments very soon. No, it's all good, Murphy. Planted a cherry and a peach tree. That's awesome. 
planted like a cherry tree when my grandpa died. That was like a, I don't know, is that a thing? I think that's a thing people do to remember. Because you, you, you take the death of someone and you add in something that's going to last a good long time. I don't know. Made sense to me. We want to work the food tiles here. Also want to harvest this marsh for them at some point. Take one hit here, probably. The uh, river should defend us enough that he won't get one-shotted. Oh, I did not anticipate the archer being there, though. Was hiding. But now we can get away. We'll move the warrior here to be safe. We'll have the archer take high ground. And we'll expose that one a little bit. All right. Encampment time, I think. Again, encampments are weird when you're rocking Earth Goddess because we're going to hurt the appeal of this tile to the point where we lose our faith per turn on it. Um, probably on this one as well. No, that one will actually stay. Uh, but we want them on our road. Like, we, we, we want to be able to... I mean, I don't really care about culture bombing. I'm excited that I get to take this campus from him. Hopefully, he builds me an aqueduct as well. I could go for Mahabadi, I suppose. It's got a holy site there. It's got some nice holy sites for us to take too. This is going to be great. And we have a holy site. We have a commercial hub. So we can actually get two more districts. We can get their campus. As well as the encampment. I'm going to start with that. And then here we can faith buy. This would be the major, the plus three variety of uh, great people recruitment. I'm not willing to take the chance that we get it naturally. We're just now getting our encampments. So we're way behind America's 9.2 general points per turn. And I absolutely need at least one general to war with. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is worth it, even though it's most of our faith. Because I want a medieval renaissance general real bad style. Okay, one turn on this. Aqueduct, we're teching through. Yeah, I wish I could culture bomb somewhere that was building a wonder. Then I could get the uh, you are a terrible person achievement, but not happening at the moment. Don't need natural philosophy. Don't need that. <clears throat> uh, new governor title is great, though. Again, we want to be culture first. And Pingal is worth 11 culture here, so that's a giant chunk of that. Which is good. I don't think I want to switch any of this stuff. Although, eh, five turns? No, no, no. We're going to get the encampment boost here in a second. So we might as well go towards civil service first. And that's another non-envoy related one. So let's not worry about our envoy policy, and we'll just leave this in there for now. Start with our campus, lock in our commercial hub. Thank you, Maestro. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. No, no, Victor, quite yet. I have two government buildings to build, so that's two more promotions, and I only need three for that, Victor. Um, so, and we have to get to guilds before this, so we'll, we should be able to have enough of the, uh, policies we need. That's probably as far as I go on Pingala for now, though, even though I'd like the other two dedications as well. 
Uh, six, welcome for the welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, so he, Australia got Machu. So we'll probably go Germany, America, Australia, and then then finish off these guys. Let's see other religions being spread, other religions being spread. Who got Buddhism? Oh, Germany got Buddhism. Okay, so yeah, so he has his own religion. So again, another another uh, reason to not go crusade. Thank you, Thalia. You're the coolest. They always are. The wolf, go Poland. Thank you for the five months, my friend. Welcome on back to the shop. Holy cow, we're way back over 500 again. You guys are the best. Go Thank Poland. you, everybody. Thank you, guys and gals. I appreciate all the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome back for five months. I appreciate that a lot. Didn't want this guy crossing the river here and threatening our archers. I didn't think he would either way. Uh, but with, uh, with our warrior here, he certainly could have. And then we'd be in a, a rough position where these guys were going to take damage. I don't mind if my warrior takes so much damage. But these archers taking damage means they, they attack for less. And that's kind of how we're clearing these. Um, so thank you, Shifty. It's a nice settler you got there. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it, Maestro. Where he has the zone, the uh, this guy. Well, zone of control doesn't go across the rivers. Um, and what I was afraid of is them moving here, me me not being able to finish this this guy out, and then attacking one of my archers, um, which he certainly could have been able to do. If if my warrior were here and my two archers were here and the barbarian was here, it can it can attack freely into either one of those. Rude. What a grand sight this must be in the wet season. How about it? Waterfalls in every direction. <laughs> Thanks, Maestro. <laughs> well, that sucks. Uh is candy in the game? No. Okay. So we don't care. It's all papers and There's the lure. Daddy G hey, GM only stopped by to hey, thank you. Hope you're well. I appreciate you a whole lot. Thank you for the three months. Welcome back into the shop. Good to have you. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy G. <laughs> Much appreciate. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to do this. That works, though. Should be able to clear it. We did. That's good. And like I said, I want to get to monarchy so we can start building that stuff. Culture's really starting to come along now. That Pingala promotion helped massively. Uh, and we're getting closer and closer to having all this stuff work for us. We will want the mercenaries boost. Uh, so we're going to have to think about that a little bit. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We will need two more units. That's really no sweat. So encampment here, even though it eats up an earth goddess tile. I kind of like it. Then we have an encampment here and an encampment here, and we can kind of like send troops from both these places to deal with things. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. We can eventually get our stupas when we have happiness problems. Wow. Great library. <laughs> Great library, Temple of Artemis, and Machu Picchu. Not a theater square in sight. Get it together, Australia. Uh, 
<laughs> That's rough, Chimera. That's rough. I really don't worry about Admus and Scott. Um, it's it's so so late in the game. It's really hard to prioritize that appropriately. That's two turns again. Let's go here first so I can start the, the buildings. So here's our culture bomb. Not this turn, but the following. No time to build theater squares. Too busy building all these wonders. Sincerely, John Curtin. I mean, look. He's got more here. Oh. He's going to be fun to take over, huh? All right, so here's our culture bomb. We're going to get these two tiles back. Thank you. We will want a stable here as well. We could also think about a different district. Let's just get the stable. What's going on here? What happened here? Is this this? Did you did you do this? Did you do this, Spain? All right, let's see if Niter messes anything up. Hopefully not. Hopefully we have some in a perfect location. Blast. Build. No Niter. Cool. Oh, there's some. Good, good, good. All right, at least we have one node. That'll have to do. I'm going to start leaving our friendships alone. People like us this game. That kind of happens every time I want to be a bully. Second node to the west. This one? Yeah, I can't reach it though. I'd have to settle another city and I'm not settling the city just for for that. We'll we'll probably pick up more niter as we war. And we don't need it for our main unit. We'll, we'll need some for Bombards, but that's about it. Why did I settle this where it is? Because it was closer to good tiles versus down here. Like that. Alhambra. How about it? So this gives me the ability to start that uh, building. No, I didn't settle on Niter. We are Suzerain of Hattusa. So Hattusa has started our Niter accumulation. But to your point, we are we are getting some Niter already, which is great. All right, so we have this, uh, and that gives me the ability to um, build the building, which I was talking about. We do want to get to Reform Church as well. We can go there now and then probably unlock mercenaries afterwards. This is the route I anticipated taking. What we need to do is spread our religion a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that with just a couple missionaries. It's also our dedication. We eat up a good amount of faith to do it, but we still have time before we need Hussars. We can switch into this now. 
There's really no reason, no reason not to. Poland takes better advantage of the military policy slots than others. Um, and I do have to switch into it in order to start the building. So might as well do this. We're, we're probably going to dance around all three of these governments. Well, probably just monarchy and theocracy, actually. But we'll do that for now. We keep a decent array because of our conversion of this slot to here. One of the things I hate about mon monarchy is the triple military policy slot. Um, so we get to keep our good econ cards in. We can take unit maintenance if we want. And we can do feudal contract if we want to start building um any units we do have chivalry as well uh, that's that's another reason why by the way it's another reason why the hussars should in my opinion really be on the bottom half of this culture tree like have it be right there with chivalry so that i can unlock both at the same time especially because you can't pre-build this I think I will put that in here, even though we're not going to take advantage of it right now. There's not a lot else that we're going to do either. So it's fine for now. Okay. Um, we can also start St. Basil's as soon as possible up there, which will be good. Don't kill my scout. Converts in 86. Converts next turn, so we don't have to worry about this one. We could go convert the city-states. That wouldn't be a problem. But I'm going to send this guy over here. Somehow we have a religion over there. I guess just low population did it. Without mathematic. A governor title from that goody hut. That is crazy good. Crazy, crazy good. We actually want to move Pingala most likely. We'll, we'll build most of our, our units here in Krakow. Um, so let's switch all this around. Let's do you go pretty much anywhere else. Your time of being useful is gone. We want to move Reyna uh, here because we'll get it. Well, actually, Reyna here still makes sense. Is this is pop seven. It's pop nine. Actually, we can put Pingala here then. Let's put Pingala here. Yeah, it's pretty pug. Pretty pug. Um, and then we'll move. We'll, we'll promote. We'll bring in a victor. We want the free promotions. So bring in Victor here, and then when we finish this building, we'll get another promotion. When we finish the final building, we'll get another promotion. We'll also get one here in Guild. So we'll be able to have the Victor that we want, and then our next promotion on Pingala uh, because of that goody hut, which is nice. I wasn't anticipating the extra one, so that's kind of why I, why I was being a little bit more conservative on Pingala. Um, all of these things are boosted. I actually kind of want to start skewing towards Bombard's. We will want an armory here. Don't need an industrial zone. Terracotta would be great, but not not now. There's our reformed church boost. Plus era score for converting it. We're probably going to go way over on era score here. But converting more cities doesn't actually... It's not something that's going to be available us in the next era. So there's really no reason on holding back on it. We, we should try to hold back on our other things. Our dedication will only be relevant uh, for the next you know, 17 to 37 turns. Looking forward to culture bombing this wine tile. Ooh. Rip. I, I think I left in there an extra turn. I think that death was my fault. But that's okay. What is this? Okay, so you're spreading towards me. I guess that's fine.
There's our culture bomb. So again, I wasn't worried about them taking tiles from us. Knowing that we're going to do a domination game anyways uh, makes it so that we just we, we can kind of do whatever. We don't have to spend money on those types of, of choices. I could make this a barracks one. I think it makes sense to have one, uh, one barracks and one non. Although, again, with Victor being here, we'll probably buy most of our units here. That being said, if we start fa faith buying bombards, it would make sense probably for them to be here. Oh, they don't count as ranged anyway, so it never really matters, does it? I'll still go barracks here. We're getting most of our units here in our cap with Victor. Now, if I can somehow convert like all of Germany like easily here, and then we could we could pop an apostle promotion for something like Crusade, that would be definitely clever. I wouldn't mind doing that at all. Might be a reason to grab another uh, missionary or two. And see if we can... We've actually wiped out his... Most of his religion already. I kind of like that. Let's see if we can make it work. Getting pretty expensive. And this is what I'm talking about. Where's our faith now? Like if that... That was another like 500 faith on, on missionaries. Like where's our faith going to come from if we need to faith by our hussars? And we need to. There's a research station we could build down here, but it's super late in the game. It's The game's going to be well over before that's even unlocked. If we culture bombed here, we would not take... A, you cannot take a completed district or wonder. So no, you can never... We can never take his holy site except by force. All right, we want our trade routes in our cities that have our Sukunite. Pretty easy conversions. Do not want to sell my niter, though. It's a quality campus. Very nice. That plus Pingala here is great. Let's also get our commercial hub. Get those districts down. Hey, Zagador. How you doing, buddy? It's good to see you. We are already over on our golden age, so we do want to try to like slow down some of our um, era score accumulation here. Um, I do have iron here, but I don't have anything else. I also really need to get a builder slash this niter online. So I'm probably willing to just buy that. Could pre-build the bombards with catapults and save the faith. That's absolutely true and use our money. I like that idea. All right, and so here's where we start our Grandmaster's Chapel. Like I said, it's an expensive building, which I think w why unlocking it early on makes more sense. Um, we'll switch into Reform Church in six, and so no matter what, we'll get the better Legacy card. Um, and then at that point, we're teching pretty hard towards mercenaries. We're not too far away from them. I think I want military training really quick, though. It's a two, it's a two turn um, policy switch, and then that means I can sneak in probably get rid of this and I can sneak in diplomatic league just for like a turn here. Oh, Granada. We already did. Oh man. I was trying to, I was trying to double that up, but I guess I didn't. I still want to switch back in two, so it's fine. All right. Um, let's go for gold. I will try to go up here to Australia because I don't have a trading post with him yet. Could also go to um Murica. I think we'll start the further trade route first and then we'll get more trade routes soon. And by soon I mean now.
Just trying to decide if I need defense logistics. I don't think I do, actually. I'm going to take Garrison Commander. Don't need the resources per turn. We have a lot of iron generation already. And then there's my embrasure for the extra promotion. So that is on the table now. Uh, and the next one can go towards Pingala with a little extra science. So that last one went to Australia. This one we want to go to Murica. I'm just going to buy you a builder. Is a Rough Rider rush worth it? Uh, I don't think you can technically rush something that's that late in, a, in the trees. In the tech trees. But they're pretty fun. So he's got a couple missionaries. Going way over on era score. It's okay. Uh, and let's go ahead. We as we we we're, we're nearing we're nearing our war, uh, which is good. Let's go ahead and cut in for now. And then the next one, I think we're going to be able to dive into it at least a little bit. It would be awesome if I could kind of convert the rest of these cities and at least and and then pop crusade. Um, but we're just we're we're giving up so much faith already to even get these missionaries going, um, which is again why I say crusade is a little bit of a rough. It's a rough ask. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching over on YouTube, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet. See you then.